this was fun. When are you leaving? Uh, 11. I have a horrible five hour layover in Berlin. Mm, I managed to go direct. All right, you have to pack. Okay, okay. Mm, let's go. Well, it was very nice to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> Um, do you want to stay in touch? Yeah. Um, Bhagwan Tamara Bhala Kare. What does that mean? God bless you. Oh, I like him so long. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night. Hey, seriously, good night. Come on. Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. Look, he was cute, okay? After all that talk about freaks and geeks. <laughs> okay, what's happening with Rahul? Don't change the subject. I'm not changing the subject. I'm just changing the subject because it's boring. I couldn't care less about Behrouz. I care a lot more about you. He's not coming back. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Can't you fly out there and spend some time together? Maybe he's just scared of how things are here. I'm scared of how things are here. Why does he get to be the only one who can't cope? This is what I dreamed of when I was growing up. An apartment in New York City, surrounded with books and arts and culture and smart people. It would be the exact opposite of my village. Then why are you leaving? Because it's just a hologram. Because I never felt more deprived and lonely than here. That's because you always focus on what's not there instead of what is there. What's not there is what I want. What's not there is desire. Desire is all there is. Then what about love? <laughs> love gets you nowhere. So you don't love me? Of course I love you. I'm not talking about us. It's fine. Or me. <laughs> Disregard me. I just want to sleep now. Or me. I really want to go to bed. Wake me up before you go. Well, back in Bulgaria, when I was growing up, we always thought of New York, America, as 
this uh, car chases and uh, women and guys walking on the streets with barely clo no clothes. And because that was the American movies, the image that they were projected, that's the American dream. You come in here, you make it right away, your dreams turn into gold and you, you become rich and you have all these fancy cars and all this democracy and liberal thinking. So when I came to New York, I realized that was all false. <laughs> Actually, at that time, uh, I, I, I saw New York, uh, I mean, America, but New York, I was living in New York. So I saw a more Puritan country in the city. People were more conservative in their thinking, even um, compared to Bulgaria. So that was one false image that was projected from the movies to us. That's the American dream. Also, the other thing was that we thought, okay, we come in, they're waiting for us, we're so talented, and we get what we want. We become superstars, which is false too, because in New York, there's so much talent coming from all around the world. And it's very competitive. You have to build different qualities besides talent to make it, because there's so many talented people that don't make it because they don't have that soft skills and the other human capital that they need. 